just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Six twenty-six in the morning, and she wanted to be dropped off this early. Look how thick this fog is, you guys. Okay, you guys. So it's nine o'clock, and as you can see, I'm not at work. So I get closer to the area where I work, and everything is dark and black, and the power lights are not working. And then I'm like, okay, power's out. So the power was out almost two hours. And we're just sitting there waiting for it to come back on and if you guys remember I think I told you guys this we have two main offices and we called the big fancy office and we had them reschedule all the patients finally once we seen that the power wasn't coming back on and then driving I guess the power came back on after he let all of us go for the day the power must have came back on and so he called me and he told me what was going on he said you know what every all the patients are just rescheduled don't even worry about coming back but I just wanted to let you know the power was on I'm like okay so I am at Hobby Lobby right now I'm going to go see if I can find anything for the kids bathroom any decor um, I probably won't get it today, but at least get an idea of what I want. I was thinking this for a towel rack, but I'm not sure at all. Kind of nice. Different. Okay, so I did see a few things that I liked. I was going to get that towel rack, even though it's meant for laundry. I don't know if it'll be too big for the kid's bathroom. And then I don't want to buy a bunch of things and have to take it back later. So I'm just going to wait. I think I, I also think I should paint first. So for a towel rack, I want something either like this or the one that I just showed you guys. But the one like this, I found it on Pinterest and it's a DIY. I don't think I will be good at making something like this. So I looked on Amazon to find one pretty similar or like this and I couldn't. If you guys know where to find one, let me know. But, yeah, if I don't get that, then I'm going to get the standing one, maybe. I don't know. We'll see, you guys. But I think I should paint first before I try to get decorations. All right, so let's go home. The main reason why I went to Hobby Lobby was not to look for stuff for the bathroom. It was to get those tabs that I told you guys about on the planner that I have. Totally forgot about it. Didn't even look for it. And once I got home, I'm like... Wasn't I supposed to get something? Yeah. So anyway, I'm at home and instead of being lazy, I guess I'll make myself useful and do the dishes from last night. I was gonna do it when I got home or either have Savannah do it. And then I am going to keep laundry going. So yeah, even though I'm not at work, I'm still working. Okay, so dishes are done. Come on lighting, get better. All right, dishes are done and I don't eat breakfast, you guys know that, and I'm about to eat lunch. I was going to eat tamales because a lady from church, she sells tamales sometimes, and I bought jalapeno and Cheyenne bought pork, but I can't have pork because you guys know how pork affects my body. Um, <clears throat> I think I told you guys before, if it's cured like bacon or ham, I can have that and that has no effect on me, but when I actually eat like pork chops or loin, pork loin, and stuff like that, then I just don't eat it anymore and I miss having pork chops, like smothered pork chops and stuff like that. Anyway, so I ramble on and on, you guys know me. Anyway, so for lunch, instead of having the jalapeno tamale, I am going to eat some 
gumbo. It's the last little bit that's left. I am cooking rice. Oh, and I don't think I told you guys anything more about my rice cooker. I absolutely love it. It's so fancy to me because you guys know the old thing that I was using was just like you plug it in and you click it down and that's it but this one has different settings it can do different things so I thought it was going to be hard to learn how to use it it's just a rice pot Michelle it's not that hard so anyway yeah I have some rice cooking right now and then I'm going to eat um, I'm gonna keep laundry going since the kitchen is clean now I just have to wipe down the countertop where I'm actually sitting and then I will be done. Hey everyone, it is Friday, finally, yay. Um, I'm home from work, because you guys know on Fridays I get off at 12 for now, but that will change later on. I think I told you guys that. I don't know if I didn't, then now you know. So anyway, dental story time. <laughs> so a patient came in, wasn't yesterday, because we left early yesterday. Maybe on Wednesday? I don't know anyway he came in he had work done right so the day before when I confirmed his, his appointment I told him what his charges were going to be so he said okay so he gets his treatment done he comes up to the front and I'm checking him out and so I'm not one of the type of people I'm not afraid to ask for money some people in the dental field they don't feel comfortable asking people for money I don't have a problem with it it's part of the job hey you gotta pay us because your pay insurance pay that's how we get paid so I don't have a problem asking them to give them what they owe right and each dental office has a different policy procedures or whatever on how they do things but I guarantee you most dental offices they have a sign that payment is due at the time of treatment or something to those effect maybe not worded like that but something like that right so anyway Keep in mind that I did tell him how much it was going to be when I confirmed. So come to the front, I'm checking him out, I'm scheduling his next appointment because he has to do a follow-up. And then it gets to the part where I told him, I said, okay, and your out-of-pocket portion will be blah, 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 whatever for today. And he goes, I didn't plan to pay. You guys, this, <laughs> okay, this happens all the time. When Patients get work done, they expect to pay it later. And yes, some dental offices may do that, but a lot don't, right? And my office doesn't, the offices I've worked at in the past didn't. So I told them, I said no, when I confirmed your appointment, I told you your out-of-pocket portion, X amount, and then the rest we expect from your insurance, right? People, you can't expect to go to a restaurant and after you've eaten your food, when it's time for the bill, be like, I wasn't expecting to pay for this. They're going to call the cops, right? Or you can't go to the store, grab milk and eggs or groceries and get to the front and be like, well, I wasn't prepared to pay for this, but I want this work. No, we've done the work on your mouth. You, you have the treatment. Pay us. So he ended up paying us, but then he got mad once again at me because I'm the new person and whatever. And so when the manager spoke to him and she was like, this is our policy and procedure. You pay up on the day of treatment. And yes, like I told you guys, some places will let you pay when you come back or make a payment arrangement and that's fine. And I even was willing to give him a payment arrangement. He didn't want to do that. So he got mad and blamed it all on me because I was new. So whatever. But yeah, if you get your work done, make sure you find out their policies we do the work you're gonna have to pay that so good morning everyone it is my lips are shiny i just put on carmex um it's very early it's just savannah and i say hi savannah hi savannah and look you guys she took her hair down and she has a ponytail she's so cute so this is mother and daughter day today so this is savannah's food and I got chicken fried steak and gravy and eggs and biscuits and gravy. What are you looking for? Got a table that has Tabasco. Oh. So we are in Home Goods. And you guys, you know, even though I'm not into Ray Dunn anymore, I have been wanting these pasta bowls for a long time. I know I should get them. It's only eight bucks. Those are cute. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm going to get it though. We're at the movies to see Escape Room, and it's just us in here so far. Did you know over 97% of food Mother waste Daughter like Day continues, right Savannah? Yeah. So we are continuing on our Mother Daughter Day, and Escape Room, spoiler alert, 
there's going to be a part two, I think so. It's not really a spoiler alert, though. Well, like, I didn't know until I seen it. It was really good, though. Mm -hmm. Now it makes me not want to go to an escape room. I want to go to an escape room more. I don't want to go into a regular room where you think it's a regular room and it's actually an escape room. I don't want to go into a room because I'm paranoid. Like, when we walked out, we went to the bathroom and we we're like, a keyhole, find your way out. What's Look for the clues <laughs> and everything. We were just being silly like that. On to our next adventure. Where shall we end up? Let's see. So we're at Color Be Mine and I chose this. I think it's a candle holder and it says hope on one side and faith on the other. And Savannah got an angel. That's the back of it. And oh, okay, fairy. Can you turn it around? Sorry. <laughs> and that's the front side of the fairy or angel. steadiest of hands and that's only one side yeah this is not meant for me and Selena's one she's still going over there I would ask her to turn it around but it's all wet in the front that was our first time there and don't laugh at my creation she showed me how to fix it a little bit because at the corners the black and the orange were just not very good <laughs> we'll pick it up in a week and then I'll show you guys the final product then for me and Savannah. Okay, so Savannah and I are back home. We have had a very long day, but I want to show you guys something. So, um, I didn't vlog everywhere I went today, but I want to show you guys this. She tells me, Mom, there's a shirt at the mall that I want. Cheyenne was going to get it for me, and then we just didn't go back and get it. I'm like, okay. She told me it was only $9, so I'm like, well, we'll go another day. She's like, no, please. So we go today. I'm thinking she's just getting some kind of graphic tea or whatever. This is what she pulls out. She made me go all the way to the mall for a Justin Bieber shirt. What do you have to say about yourself, Savannah? You're proud of yourself for tricking me? You didn't really trick me. Well, in your defense, why am I defending you? But in your defense, you didn't tell me what it was because you knew I probably wouldn't. Have, yeah, you knew I probably wouldn't have went there, right? I did. I feel like I did tell you what it was. No, I don't think you did. It came from the store Charlotte Russe, and I guess it was originally $21.99, and then it was down to $6.99. But when we got up to the register, I paid like $5 and some change for it, so... Yeah, this is all Justin Bieber's work, $5 and change. I thought you were going to scream, no! So you guys, remember my planner that I got? So I did go back to Hobby Lobby, and I got these um, sticker tabs. They were 5 bucks, so I will put these on there, so hopefully it works out. But I did not buy those two Ray Dunn um, pasta bowls that I seen in, I was going to say Hobby Lobby. I'm tired, you guys. Where is it? Home Goods? I think I'm done with the Ray Dunn craze. I really am. And even though I wanted those a long time ago, like last year, I wanted those so bad and I'd never seen them in the stores. I don't know. I love what I have, but I'm just not into it anymore. So I walked around and I kept looking at them like, eh, I really don't need it. So I didn't get it. And I just realized I forgot to show you guys Savannah's Painted Fairy before it goes into the kiln, but when we get it back next week, I'll show you both of them, of course, and then I, I just think mine is gonna be horrible. Yeah, we'll see you guys. All right, you guys, it's actually the next day. I fell asleep super early last night and didn't get a chance to end out the video, so I'm gonna do that now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do me a favor before you leave, hit that subscribe button. If you have not already, hit the bell so you can be notified when we upload videos, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.